Get ready to dive in to today's video. We'll be covering some great treasures that you may or probably aren't aware of as it relates to the lineages of Noah's sons. There's a lot more uh, su good surprises, I should say. Beautiful surprises, especially after the last one. <laughs> All right, hey, buckle up and get ready. We'll be continuing the conversation Dean and I had uh, before we actually start, not long, then right on to the family uh, uh, tree of Noah. There's a lot of ites in the Bible, and I think I have I have some of them. Oh, guys, you'll run into that in, in the next chapter. In the next chapter, I think that's where my notes are. Okay, um, Japheth, uh, um, you know, and we're going to go into this in the next chapter, but I do want to just share this, and I'll, I'll repeat it again in the next chapter. Japheth was going to be a tent, tent, you know, building in Shem. Shem. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Concerning Ham and Canaan, their, their, their call was to be servant of servants. Okay. People that were from this. Now, listen to these great people that were in the line of Ham and Canaan. Joshua, David, Solomon, Alexander the Great, all the Romans. They have subdued them. Okay. Ham and Canaan have the highest technical people. That's even that's what they saw over the years. They 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 produce the highest technical people. Yeah. They're responsible for man's physical well-being. So you could say doctors, dentists could come from that line. Okay. Yeah. Japheth, um, God said said he would enlarge Japheth's tents, okay, and dwell in the tents of Shem. Um, they become known for phil philosophy. Mm -hmm. development of scientific method they're responsible for man's mental well-being that's what they have found over the years that's what you know they're when they've done their studies okay concerning shem blessed be the lord god of shem shem's descendants were from abraham to jesus they had religious insights they were responsible for man's spiritual well-being now i want you to see this ham and shem are body japheth soul um, and Shem was spirit. Yep. But they were putting for, and I do have, I mean, we could go through this in the next chapter too, because there's, you know, but I could show you some, where some of these countries were. Yeah, you know, what country? Oh, that's country. the next chapter, definitely. That's the next chapter. That's like amazing, you know, to do yeah. that. But I want you to say, I want you to know something. Noah had no more spiritual accomplishments in the last 350 years of his life. Nope. He just, he did so much in the beginning. And I want to say, it's not how we start out the race. It's how we end it. Yeah. You know, so we've got, what are you, what's going on? Like just a rhetorical question. What's going on in your life? Where are you with God? What are you doing for God? Mm -hmm. What are you at the altar? Mm -hmm. We need to be running this race, you know, and not looking back. And I love this story. I used to teach this years ago when Paul, like Paul would talk about running the race. Mm -hmm. You have to have your eyes on the finish line because if you look to the left or the right, you're going to slow down. Yep. You've got to have your eyes fixed what's yep. ahead of you. And I would say, let that be Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that would be the, the end of um, nine chapter yep. nine. And I'm so glad we got through that part because I really don't like teaching that. <laughs> well, that little part, you know, little part. The hard part is necessary. I know. I know. So that's yeah. the of nine okay now let's have some fun with ten. Ten. <laughs> now there are some verses i'm going to skip because this is a chapter that this one gave birth to this one and that and all different names so there are some verses i'm going to skip unless you rather me not uh, i i don't think you need to go quite so extensively okay. unless you want to be here for a couple hours okay uh now these are the records of the generations of shem ham and japheth the sons of Noah and the sons were born to them after the flood. Okay. And then it goes into who's who, but I want to read verse five from the, from these, the coastlands of the nations were separated into their lands. Mm. Everyone according to their language, mm -hmm. according to their families, into their nation. So God is telling us after the flood, there's islands now and there's coastlands. And if you took a map of the world, I think I've shared this. And I was just sitting somewhere in a, a doctor's office the other day. They had the map of the world. You could see right where the United States would fit into here. Mm 
Mm-hmm. You can see where this country would fit into this part. You know, with, of course, over time, um, you know, land recedes, waters mm-hmm. change, but islands were created. And that's listed in, in verse five. And I thought that was very interesting. Okay. Yeah. And then we talk about the sons of Cush and we go on to verse eight. Now, Cush became the father of Nimrod. Yep. He became a mightier one on the earth. He was a mightier hunter. Mm. He was a mighty hunter mm. before the Lord. Therefore, it is said, like Nimrod, a mighty hunter before the Lord. Okay. Yeah. Nimrod was not a good guy. Okay. Just so you, so I don't know if you know that, but he wasn't really. He hunted men as well as animals. Okay. Mm. And um, he was the first one that. Um, he 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 was part of building a Babylon, okay? A Babel is a yeah. fort, and that's a foreshadow of the Antichrist, okay? In the word and that city, he led the for, first organized rebellion against God, Nimrod. Mm-hmm. First organized rebellion against God on Earth. And I'm not talking about Satan's rebellion, but I'm talking about on Earth. A re, you know, he mm-hmm. he was the first one to form that rebellion, okay? Yeah. And we have to say. You know, and I do want to say this because you touched on this. All human beings are equal despite nationality, color, or race. God created all of us the same. Yeah. He really did, you know. And, um, uh, you know, it's so funny because I have a black daughter-in-law. Oh, She's exotic and she's gorgeous. You know, she's married to my son. And um, I look at her and I don't even see color. I just went on vacation with her parents. I love her parents. You know, like, you know, when you love people, it covers, it covers color. You don't even see it. You really don't see it. Okay. I just wanted to insert that. All right. (laughs) So Babylon alone stands for every false religion, false doctrine, every false way. It is referred to in the Bible as the great whore, the mothers of harlots and the abomination of the earth. Okay, so here we're we're talking about Nimrod right now. Okay, he also built Nineveh. If you go down to verse eleven, okay, it says that he built Nineveh. Now, if you know anything about Nineveh, God sent Jonah to Nineveh to get them saved because they were wicked people. They were ungodly and unrighteous. Okay, so God sends Jonah to reach this town of Nineveh, the city of Nineveh. So, and he's, in, he's responsible for all of this, Nimrod, okay? Um, and then, you know, we have different things. Who, who, be, who became the father of this person and that person? But, you know, there's so many of those that I don't want to go over all of that. Oh, yeah. Um, one person that you could mention is the gentleman who is, in Hebrew, was named Egypt. Egypt. Okay. Yes. You know, the guys who um, build all those wonderful uh, pyramids and the great sphinx. Wow. Like you said, they're the builders and that. Then they were well, and also a learning center. Hmm. Wow. And they're also through that line, you have people who uh, founded the nation of what we call Ethiopia. Yes. All okay. kinds of fantastic places. Yeah. And Ethiopia was not somebody to sneeze at. No, no. No, no. They were actually a very powerful nation. Yes, and they were. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I wanted to speak about that. Okay. And I did want to talk about the organized rebellion. Um, the other thing that they, that these are the families of Noah, according to their genealogies by their nations, um, out of these nations were separated on the earth after the flood. I told you that, that they were, but I want to give you some notes on this, on this chapter. Okay. Um, what, what is it? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the thing, the thing I wanted to talk about was were the were the ites, you know, the ites because they're oh yeah, the Hivite, the Hittite, okay. and the Gilgitite. Yes, right, and the Canaan descendant. Okay, so these are all descendants. Okay, these become Israel's greatest enemies, and this is in verse sixteen to eighteen. It's talked about. Okay, um, and I, and I'm just going to tell you what they mean. All right, a Hittite usually brought confusion, fear, violence, and discouragement on somebody. Mm. Okay. So in the spiritual realm, we look at that. The Jerusites, unknown, forgotten, overlooked people, corruption. That was kind of like, well, we know these people exist, but uh, they're not important to us. That's what they were. The Amorites were pride boasters of self. 
-hmm. Humanism comes from that. The Hevites were to give life to sin and perversion. It was a birth sin. <laughs> the Perizzites were separators, idolatry, mix and mingle. Um, the Canaanites were the root to humiliation, shame, greed, and lack. Mm -hmm. And the Jebusites meant to trample down underfoot and rejection. So that's what came out of that line. A lot of these yeah. things, and um, it's very and it's very interesting because we're going to go to, to the Tower of Babel next. Okay. Oh yeah. But um, I would like to I would like to just go over this in ten, just just because I think it's interesting. Oh yeah. Some of the countries that they say come from Japheth are Germany, Russia, Persia, yep. Gr Greece, Italy, Armenia, Spain, and Cyprus. And even Rom, actually, Roman, Kite, the Kittite. The yeah, Kittite the Roman, the right, yeah. because that would become under Italy. Yes, you're absolutely mm -hmm. right. Um, the descendants of Ham were Ethiopia, Egypt, Africa. Africa is where my heart is. I love Africa. I've been there so many times. The African people are the most beautiful people. You know, they're really beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, purity is what I saw in Africa, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the Canaanites of Palestine, Babylon, Assyria, Phoenicia, the Hittites, the Jebusites, prior to David's rule, you know, it gets a little specific here, the Philistines, and possible founder of the Oriental people. They believe that comes from Ham's generation. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah. And from the descendants of Shem, through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the nation Israel, oh. through Abraham, Ishmael, and Esau, the Middle East Arab countries. Mm-hmm. So that's what that's what it's believed where people orig you know where pe if if I haven't said a certain country it's because they don't know yeah. you know it's not recorded anywhere a certain country mm -hmm. but I think these are interesting things to, to learn and know you know I just think they're really interested yeah. interesting so that would be it because there's not there there I mean there's I shouldn't say there's not a lot of stuff in <laughs> chapter 10 but there's a lot of genealogy you know and it's all god's word so it's all perfect and like i told you once i studied matthew the first chapter and i had four pages of notes it was amazing who was who you know who's who in matthew but um i didn't do that with all of these things anything you want to add to chapter 10 no not really i think we pretty much uh did 10 pretty good okay uh, and uh, i do hope you're enjoying today's video and hope you found the uh, treasures that was alluded to uh, to be of value and interest. The next chapter, which you'll uh, receive shortly when published, is chapter 11, where we'll talk about the Tower of Babel. Oh boy, <laughs> get ready for an, some interesting revelation, which I think you'll enjoy. Check the playlist to see what you may have missed. Be sure to subscribe to get notified of when chapter 11 is, and future videos are become available. <laughs> the, the playlist will automatically be updated each time they become available. All right. Hey, have a blessed day. See you when I see you.